basketball is more than just uh, dribbling and shooting. It's a dance of intricate communication. Words are only a part of it. Coaches, uh, we speak volumes with our bodies too. Um, our players watch us uh, closely, even when we don't know it. They read our every move. Young body language is incredibly powerful. It can make or break a team. I think about it deeply. A coach hunched over, um, shoulders slumped, that screams defeat. Not the message you want to send to your team, but a coach standing tall, chest out. Meeting players' eyes, that's confidence. That's true leadership. Body language is a constant, ongoing conversation. It's happening on the court, in the locker room, everywhere. Master it, and you unlock a whole new level of effective coaching. Ignore it, and you're missing half the game. Ever heard of the 55-38-7 rule? It's a big deal in communication. It says that 55% of what we communicate is through body language. That's huge. Another 38% is tone of voice. Only 7% is the actual words we say. Think about that for a second. Imagine how much of our message is conveyed without even uttering a single word. So, coaches, what message are we sending with our bodies? Are we aware of the signals we are giving off? Are we saying, I believe in you with a strong stance and a pat on the back? These small gestures can make a big difference. Or are we saying, I'm not sure about this with uh, crossed arms and a frown. Our body language can sometimes contradict our words. Our players pick up on these cues, how they feel them. They react to them. They are constantly reading our body language, even when we are not speaking. We need to be aware of our body language and use it to our advantage. By being conscious of our gestures, facial expressions, and posture, we can reinforce our verbal messages. A smile can convey encouragement, a nod can show understanding, and a thumbs up can boost confidence. When we align our body language with our words, we become more effective communicators. Our players will trust us more and be more motivated to follow our guidance. So next time you're on the court, remember the 55-38-7 rule. Use your body language to inspire, motivate, and lead your team to success. Because in the end, it's not just about what we say, but how we say it that truly makes an impact. Let's be mindful of our body language and use it to create a, a positive, and empowering environment for our players. After all, effective communication is the key to building strong, successful teams. Trust is the, um, the foundation of any team. Without it, you've got nothing. And guess what? Body language is key to building that trust. When we're open and approachable, uh, players feel comfortable coming to us. Uh, they know they can talk to us. Um, think about how you stand when um, a player approaches you. Are you closed off, arms crossed, looking away? Or are you facing them, making eye contact, showing them you're listening? And it's the little things that matter, like a nod here, a smile there. Um, these small gestures build connection. They show your players you're present, you care, and you're in their corner. Section four, the eyes have it. Key techniques for uh, coaches. Let's talk about some specific techniques. First up, eye contact. It's powerful stuff. Um, eye contact is one of the most fundamental ways to connect with your players. It shows them that you are uh, present in the moment and that you value what they have to say. 
this simple act can build trust and rapport, um, which are essential for effective coaching. When you look someone in the eye, you show them respect. It's a nonverbal way of saying, I see you and I'm here with you. This can be especially important during high pressure situations where players need reassurance and confidence. You show them you're listening. Active listening is more than just hearing words. It's about understanding the emotions and intentions behind those words. Nodding and maintaining eye contact are, are key components of active listening. Don't stare them down, of course, but make a connection. Next, posture. Stand tall, shoulders back. Your posture speaks volumes about your confidence and authority. When you stand tall, you not only project confidence, but also command respect from your players. Project confidence even when you're not feeling it. Sometimes, as a coach, you might not feel confident, but it's crucial to project it. Your players look up to you and take cues from your demeanor. Your players will feed off your energy. Gestures are important too. A thumbs up, um, a simple uh, gesture like a thumbs up can boost a player's morale. It's a quick and effective way to show approval and encouragement. Um, a pat on the back, even a firm handshake. These gestures might seem small, uh, but uh, they, were, they have a, a big impact. Uh, they convey support, trust, and camaraderie. Uh, these small actions speak volumes. Uh, they can uplift a player's spirit and motivate them to perform better. Never underestimate the power of positive reinforcement. They show encouragement, support, and belief. Um, and finally, active listening. Active listening is a critical skill for any coach. It involves fully concentrating, understanding, responding, and then remembering what, he, what is being said. This means really uh, paying attention when someone is talking. Put your phone down, make eye contact, uh, nod your head. These actions show that you are fully engaged in the conversation and that you value um, the speaker's input. Show them you're engaged in the conversation. By doing so, you build a stronger connection with your players, um, making them feel heard and understood. This, in turn, fosters a positive and productive coaching environment. Section five, beyond words, mirroring and team chemistry. Ever notice how teams that click seem to move as one? It's almost like they have an unspoken understanding, a rhythm that binds them together. Part of that is body language, specifically mirroring. Mirroring is a subtle yet powerful tool that can enhance team chemistry. Mirroring is when we subtly copy the body language of the person we're talking to. This can include gestures, posture, and even facial expressions. It creates a subconscious connection, um, making the other person feel understood and valued. This connection is crucial in a team setting. Now, I'm not saying you should become a mime, but being aware of and responding to your player's body language can make a big difference. Pay attention to your player's body language. Uh, notice how they stand, how they move, uh, and how they express themselves. If they're leaning in, uh, lean in too. Uh, this shows that you're engaged and interested in what they have to, have to say. If they're using their hands when they talk, do the same. This mirroring can make communication more effective and build a stronger connection. It builds rapport and trust, which are essential for a cohesive team. When players uh, feel connected to their coach and teammates, they're more likely to perform well. Smiling is, is another uh, simple but powerful tool. Um, 
a genuine smile can break down barriers and create a positive atmosphere. A genuine smile can light up a room. It shows warmth, approachability, and positivity. It shows warmth, approachability, and positivity, and it's contagious. When you smile, it encourages others to do the same. When, uh, when you smile at your players, uh, they're more likely to smile back. This creates a positive feedback loop, uh, enhancing the overall uh, team morale. Uh, it creates a positive feedback loop. A team that smiles together works well together. So remember, your body language and your smile can be powerful tools in building team chemistry.